if I fool my scratch. But yes, I'm back. Because that's what she's like, come on. Faith was warning. Sorry I'm rustling, but some big fools are getting this little on the way in. So that might be fun. It better be. <laughs> Me, Benny's got himself a doll. Yes, that's why I might be proud of you because no, it's still raining. No wonder they call you little bullet. Shut your kiss up. Let's both fight. I'll get off you, Dan. Yeah, shut your yeah. I'm trying to think here. What's the letter, Benny? When I pass my daughter Kitty's arriving my birthday tonight. She's gonna be visiting for a couple of days. That sure is good news, boss. Didn't know he had a daughter. How old is she? Must be 18 by now. Where's she been all these years? She's been living with mother down south. Don't you, Benny? Yeah, I haven't seen her since she was a little girl, maybe 10 or 12 years old. So what's the bad news? Well, my daughter Kitty, she don't know much about me. Well, how many of you can touch her send her some scratch occasionally? Yeah, of course I did. But she doesn't exactly know what I do. She thinks I'm a big time business broker. Well, you are, boss. You've broken many businesses, especially when they wouldn't pay the protection money. <laughs> you own this town, Benny, and they slowly get like this in town. <coughs> I never understood why it's called the floating gang. Because it floats around the city, so no one knows where its secret location until, the, until right before the game. It drives the cops crazy. What about you gambling? How'd you explain that? I told her I was making some big investments. Big investments? That's a good one. What about you pick some baseball games? How about that? I told her I was a White Sox fan and that they actually had good players. Can <laughs> she believe that? <laughs> Man, she's an idiot. I mean, intelligent. <laughs> what am I going to do? So I'm behind the eight ball here. She's going to be here any minute. Maybe she's come clean, buddy. No. It would break her heart. I've always been a hero. So on a one to five scale, she thinks I'm a ten. Huh, that's many years of luck with a ten. She's your daughter. Don't you think she'll love you no matter what? I can't take that chance. She's my little girl. So what are you going to do, boss? Listen, you all got to back me up. Sure, boss. Anything you say. But well, what are you going to do about Luke's and Duke again? They'll never play along. Suddenly, since they lost the best team on the big game last month, Hey, shut up. You may be a crook and lie, but don't you dare call my boss a cheat. You should love you more like yourself when you have a chance. Like you accidentally burnt up Maggie Joe's, your own nightclub? Hey, now that's a cheap shot. Simmer down, boy, simmer down. That was no cheap shot. You're just gonna cost Luke 25 G's to repair the damage done to his old rundown club. The, the insurance company paid Luke 25 G's, and we had 50 G for one that all did the one lip cigarette that somehow missed the ashtray. Smoking made by the house is great for a while. And now you guys have to hang out at Duchess's, which is our spot, not yours. <coughs> Just a minute! Hey, what cash wasn't here? What do you want, want Benny? I don't owe you any favors. Look, look, don't I ask for a truce for a couple of days, my little doll visit. <laughs> oh, dude, why don't you make Benny and this bunch of goons look good? Who you call goons? Why don't you take a powder? Why don't you? How about a nice cup of sandwich? You first! Hey, hey, where's my fine establishment? I don't want no trouble. Fine establishment? You mm, this stuff. You call my club dumb, Lula? Yeah, so why are you going to do that? Be such a yes, that's for starters. <laughs> Knock it off, all you! Look, looks like this can't get off the butt. So, Luke, do we have a deal or not? For a couple days, that's it. Don't see this gonna be tough when you make Benny out to my egg. No monkey business in front of Miss Kay. He's a boozler, a gambler, a low life thug, a wheeler, a dealer, a big time gangster. I think what you meant to say was he's a uh, investor, a banker, a broker, club owner, benefactor, and real good guy. For the next couple of days, he's gonna be legit. Good evening, ma'am. How do you see Mr. Benjamin O'Hara? The owner of this club? Owner of this club? Oh yes, you must be Kitty. I'm Duchess, the uh, manager of this club. Kitty, my little girl, a real pleasure to have you decided to visit me after all these years. I thought that since I was older, we could get acquainted. Say, family is family. How about the 
eat my bread. The head duchess, this is Sapphire Muggsy, a business associate. Another business associate, Luke. His doll, Lola, and his business associate, Muggsy. <laughs> You must be real proud of her, Benny. She's a real sweet kid. And she's got a nice little legs, too. Don't talk about Miss Kay that way. She's a classy doll. Wait, wait a minute. I'll see you, yes, Kitty. This is going to be harder than I thought. This is going to be harder than I thought. This is easy. How are, we get to, how are we going to get to the ballpark to rig the game? We'll find out something. Wait, what you been doing all these years, Kitty? I went to one of the fine schools down south, thanks to Daddy's investment. We all know about Daddy's investment. Keep your voice down, Lola. We'll see him in word. This is that old bridge kitty that Daddy buy that too? Yeah, isn't it lovely? I'm, I'm looking forward to my stay here in New York, meeting all you people. It's been a long night, though, and I'm tired. I think I'm going to go to bed now. Come on, Kitty. Shake the room. It's the best room in the house. Run your fire escape. Good night, Daddy. Good night, everyone. Good night. So what do we do, Benny? Do you like the act? This is going to cost you plenty. You owe us. Yeah, you owe us. You and me going to come to some little arrangement when this is all over. Okay, okay, Luke. I owe you. It's so strange. What is it? Well, Kitty just seems so different. I can't put my finger on it. I think I feel guilty because you had a man so long. Big shot. 
Benny made all his dough. But you were such a plain scratch. Yeah, well, not enough for the kind of life I wanted. I try, so I tried. I knew how Benny made his money, so I tried to snooker some potatoes out of this old man. This ain't kind of. This ain't no such kind of life for a girl like yourself. I'm snooking all the money out of all of you. He was wearing six. How could you do 